Now, the suspected shooter appeared in court for a bond hearing earlier today. He's Stephen Alston Jr. He is the one accused of shooting another student inside the high school there. Yeah, Bruce Lachan was at the hearing listening in and joins us live outside the courthouse in Rockville. And Bruce, we also learned a lot more about the suspect victim and how this all went down at that hearing earlier today, right? Yeah, Lorenzo, really shocking new details, but the most important thing I think to share with the community is really that we learned, according to prosecutors, as you mentioned, that this 15-year-old who was shot in the bathroom is still fighting for his life in critical condition. Is there anything you guys want to say? Yeah, What's Members of the 17-year-old suspect's family screaming, cursing, and making bizarre gestures at reporters after the hearing at district court in Rockville. Prosecutors say 11th grader Stephen Alston Jr. went to the boys' bathroom at Magruder High School Friday planning a confrontation that multiple witnesses watched him pull a loaded 9mm handgun from his waistband and point it right at the head of the 15-year-old victim. When the victim pushed it away, the prosecutors say Alston shot him in the pelvis. The new details released in court, but because of a new state law designed to protect juvenile defendants, the state's attorney could not talk about it outside. And you cannot say what this beef was about. I, I have no comment about that. But the prosecutor tells the judge that after critically wounding the 15-year-old, Alston dismantled the gun and went to class. Police found him sheltering with several other students hours later, allegedly with nine more rounds in a gun magazine shoved in his sock. The so-called ghost gun he allegedly bought in parts on the internet and assembled with a friend nearby. Kids can get them, kids can build them, and kids can use them. A public defender asked the judge to send Alston home with his family on 24-hour detention, but the judge denied that motion, saying there is clear and convincing evidence that Alston is a threat to the community. There will be profound consequences to anyone who brings a gun into our schools. The public defender also asked the judge to transfer Alston to order him transferred for, from an adult detention center where he is now to a juvenile facility. The judge agreed to issue that order. For now, Alston is charged as an adult, but there is likely to be a hearing very soon to determine if he should be sent down to juvenile court as well. Live in Rockville, Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9. This is just so sad and awful all around. Bruce, thank you so much.